Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. In the first reading of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, he speaks to us about circumcision, not physically, but in spiritual integration with God, the uh, spiritual identity with God. And in the gospel, we have the uh, two parables, the parable of the lost ship and the parable of the lost coin. That God, it's always God who seeks out first. He seeks out the lost and delights in repentance. And let us now prepare ourselves as we celebrate this Mass, acknowledge our sins, and ask for the, uh, His loving compassion and mercy. We also include in our Mass intention those who are listed in our Paris intentions for this month. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by his gift, your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, we are the circumcision we who worship through the Spirit of God, who boast in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh, although I myself have grounds for confidence, even in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he can be obedient in flesh, all the more can I. Circumcised on the eighth day of the race of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, in observance of the law, a Pharisee. In zeal, I persecuted the church. In righteousness, based on the law, I was blameless. But whatever gains I had, these I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The word of the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds, glory in his name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him constantly, Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents, and the judgments he has uttered. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail.
Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he finds it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon arriving home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost ship. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found a coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Do you often have to spend precious time looking for something you have lost? Have you had to search for your keys or your wallet or your cell phone? or even for friends who have wandered off. Many people spend years looking for someone to share their lives with. We all need people with whom we can journey and who want to journey with us. Be not beneath all this searching and longing is our yearning for what can satisfy our deepest longings. St. Augustine wrote that our hearts are restless until they rest in God. Deeper than our yearning for God is God's yearning for us. The divine yearning took flesh in the person of Jesus. His whole purpose in life was to seek in save what was lost. His search for us is like that of the shepherd searching for a lost ship or a woman searching for her lost coin. These two parables describe God's continuing search for us to help us to fulfillment. We can take hope from this because each of us is lost in some way. Our desire for God arises from God's desire for us. As St. John used to say, we can only love because God loved us first. God bless us. First and of April. With confidence, let us offer our prayers to our Father in heaven.
For the leaders of the church, may the Holy Spirit work through them in seeking the lost and welcoming the outcast. Let us pray to the Lord. For our national and local leaders, may they be blessed with the compassion of Christ in their attentiveness to the needs of the most vulnerable, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sick, especially those struggling with chronic illness, may God bring them healing of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> For this worship community, may God help us grow in faith and in appreciation of the unique gifts in one another. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, especially Matthew Smith, for whom this Mass is offered, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray in a special way for those who are uh, departed loved ones from our parish, especially listed in our envelopes, that God may always give kind admittance and may they always rest their soul in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, this earth has given, and human hands are made. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Let us all pray now that this, our sacrifice of bread and wine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 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 For our good and good of all the stewards. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, O duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you have created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeem him through Christ, O Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. And may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest.
You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray the words of life that Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, <clears throat> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer his other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take with the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. Let that not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not worthy that you should enter in the matter, but on the say the word and my soul. So.
an act of spiritual communion. May Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Tomorrow is First Friday, and I'd like to invite everybody for the adoration after the Mass. And uh, we offer this adoration for the end of pandemic, but also for the unity and peace in our country. We are in a political crossroad at this time. And let us offer this uh, adoration and prayer for our country and for these intentions. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Yes. A good day to all.